Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to the first edition of the Burn On Blog. I'm Will Ogburn. I'm Trip White. Sweet, we're going to be telling you the greatest things about sports in the world. In the world, possibly imaginable. Yes, and today we've got a full docket here. First up is going to be my thing about Kevin Ware transferring. Awesome, that's going to be sweet. It's going to be sweet. You heard it here first. So I've got a list of the three longest jail sentences in all of NFL history. Should be a lot of parking fines and canary thefts. So Louisville guard Kevin Ware captured a lot of media attention last year for his uh, gruesome and horrific injury against Duke. Yeah, no, that was that was fun to watch, but yet really painful to watch. <laughs> Why was it fun to watch? Well, just like well, it was more of the reaction to the people on the sidelines. Just than it was. Ooh. exactly. Just. <laughs> and, then, like, and then I think one guy went into the locker room and threw up. Oof. Yeah, it was it was weird. That's rough ski. But yeah, so everybody heard about him because of that. But uh, what you may not know is that he's actually transferring after their uh, tournament loss to Kentucky. Crazy. Uh, where to? The options are still open. Uh, he's from Georgia, so they were thinking about uh, him going back home, uh, Georgia State. And maybe he was thinking about going to Tennessee okay. before Bruce, Por Bruce Pearl went to Auburn. So uh, now he's thinking about going to Auburn. Okay, so it just he's following the pearl. Exactly, he's following <laughs> the pearl. The crazy thing about it is a lot of people don't know this either. Um, he was actually committed to UCF before he even went to Louisville. Crazy, man. That's just like right down the street. And uh, there was a really kind of a sketch magee deal going on there where uh, this guy that was a convicted felon pretty much got on a three-way call with uh, Kevin Ware and uh, Donnie Jones, the UCF coach, was like, all right, here, bro, listen to me here. All right, this boy Kevin Ware right now, he about to come to your school. All right, we're not going to ask no questions. All right, now a bunch of bags of money going to show up at your house. Don't, don't do or no <laughs> don't, worry don't, about Don't that. question, just take them in and just, just put them on your bed. Just take them. We got you some solid gold shooting shoes. Everybody needs solid gold shooting shoes. Everybody needs solid gold shooting shoes. You ever heard of uh, Daryl Henley? Uh, no. Yeah, well, uh, not really surprising. He played in the early 90s, not really that big of a deal. He got sentenced 41 years in jail. Jeez, what did he do? Uh, well, originally it was just cocaine trafficking. Just a little bit of cocaine. Just, I mean, a little bit of crack, a little bit of dope, no big deal. But, um, <laughs> I mean, it was originally just that. I'm not sure what the actual sentence for cocaine trafficking is, but it was just that. He then was going to be found guilty, so he was like, I know, if I just eliminate all of my witnesses, I mean, then there's, or, or the judge is going to be convicting me, then I can't go to jail, right? Wrong. <laughs> so he hired a guy to go kill these two people and got found out and is now in jail. So this dude just went like straight Walter White mode. Like we're talking straight about Walter White. Mode. We're talking about the problems we have in the NFL now. This guy back in the day was like, all right, I'm slinging crack, I'm slinging coke. Okay, now I'm gonna get found out. So I'm gonna kill my girlfriend, the judge, the jury, my cat, my neighbor. And then next on the list is Eric Naposky. That's a sinister name right there. That is, a, you, nothing good can come from a la guy with the last name Naposky. So what he did, uh, well, he got sentenced to life with no parole, mm -hmm. and all he did was, uh, well, he had a girlfriend, a little, a little on the side lover. Oh. And she had a boyfriend, and she wanted to collect his medical benefits. So she was like, "Hey, Naposky, can you go kill this guy?" Wait, now, and now, hold on. Naposky killed that guy so that she and he could potentially benefit from that million dollar life insurance policy. But this guy's an NFL player though. Well, he's not, not making well, like well, millions of okay. dollars anyway. You're Why right, you're right, like... you're right. Okay, let me, let me preface this by saying he played in the NFL for a few teams, got traded around in a few seasons, and then transferred over to the Barcelona Dragons. Oh, so he was in NFL in Europa. Number one, we've got Keith Wright. Uh-oh. He's got a sentence over two centuries. Wait, 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 wait. This guy's name was Keith Wright though. No, Keith guy Wright. Named Keith Wright dude. No, Keith Wright. Well, okay, all, all of the crimes that you would expect, which are home invasion, sexual assault, uh, false imprisonment, which is like holding somebody hostage. Jesus. Um, armed robbery. What did he? How did he? It, it, it can't happen at once. Kidnapping. These can't happen at once. He had to go out several times and like collect well, different people. Well, well, well let me tell you this. He had, he had an additional, on top of those charges, had an additional 19 other charges to what get the? him. Yeah, no, to get him a two century, almost two and a half century sentence. You know, you really gotta admire that guy's commitment. I mean, if you're gonna be a thug, I mean, there are people walking around with sagging pants, just like flashing gang signs, whatever. This guy wakes up every day and he's like, how, how could I be more of a thug? How can I break the law that I didn't do yesterday? Exactly, like, this would be the guy that does like counterfeiting and does like serial jaywalking. False and just, Bitcoin. There you go. Like, just absurd you stuff. Go. Just dealing in coinye. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Burn On Vlog. Uh, it's been a pleasure having you. Uh, every Sunday, we're going to be coming out with a new one, and we're going to have a lot of new content, so uh, oh, yeah. keep coming back, guys.
Gotta be fresh. And uh, I do a blog every Tuesday, so check that out. That is the Burn On blog, which we keep excellently saying for vlog, but we have cut all that out. So now the blog is on Tuesday, the vlog is on Sunday. Tell us what else you got going on, Trip. And then this Friday, we're going to be having a part one of the UCF Baja Racing Team. They're going to be building, or it's going to be them building their cart for a uh, the championships that I think are coming up in a few weeks. Yeah, so definitely check that out on Burn On. Uh, it's a really cool sport. Pretty much these dudes get dirty and uh, just volunteer hours to build this really badass cart with some big wheels on it and they're about to just take it through a track. Yeah, and the crazy thing is I didn't realize how precise everything is. Like, just pure engineering. It's mm -hmm. awesome. Definitely. Alright guys, take it easy. And burn on.